Hi guys and welcome to another Plus 100 video. This time, the Sideshow Stegosaurus. Now, I have to say I was both looking forward to, but also dreading doing this review. Now, while I absolutely love this piece by Sideshow, this thing is massive. First, the Stegosaurus itself is 35 centimeters or 13.8 inches high, and the base adds another 7.6 centimeters or 3 inches. So in total, you'll need 42.6 centimeters or 16.8 inches of vertical clearance. In terms of length, it's 61 centimeters and 24 inches long. So for a 9 meter animal, that makes this about a 1 in 15 scale. So scaling quite well with the Sideshow Triceratops. And even the baby is 24 centimeters or 9.4 inches long and almost 12 centimeters or 4.7 inches high from the tip of this plate. And then there's the weight. The adult Stegosaurus is 4 kilograms or 9 pounds. The base is 2.4 kilograms or 5.3 pounds. And the baby itself is 400 grams or 0 0.9 pounds. And because of these dimensions, I'm not sure how I'm going to manipulate this thing. I might end up moving the camera around, so forgive me if my steady work is rubbish. To put things in perspective, here's one of the plates next to the PNSO Stegosaurus. And as for the baby, here he is. So, with many dinosaurs, there are usually some distinctive features we focus on. And for Stegosaurus, it's got to be the plates and the tagomizer. And for me, the tiny head. And I'm just going straight into my favourite part, the plates. That's obviously the first thing your eyes are drawn to when you look at this beautiful array. Now, these are so incredibly sculpted and beautifully rendered. Now, four of these plates are separate pieces, and they're clearly labelled from 5 to 8. And packed separately to prevent breakage. And we're used to Stegosaurus plates having simple vertical grooves in most models. Here, we've gone beyond that to something that truly looks organic, with the keratin and the growth lines. Now just look at the fade on the colour. They look like they'll definitely serve well as both an attractive and as a warning display. And this unique rendering is also taken, hopefully in homage, by the Rebor Stegosaurus, which is still one of my favourite mid-price models of Stegosaurus. It's essentially a smaller, portable version of these plates. I like the traditional red or green, as we can see uh, on my Rebor here. And in Sideshow, it's a very nice nod to that tradition, and yet done so uniquely. And also traditionally, this statue has 17 plates. And next, we have the other thing the Stegosaurus is famous for, the Tegmizer. And as you would hope, this famous part looks impressive and dangerous, and most delightful of all, used. It's not a perfect factory fresh spike, with areas that are realistically textured, but also damaged from real use, making it look so much more dangerous. You'll see what might have been past fractures that have healed over. In essence, what you have here is a real animal that's been through the school of hard knocks and survived. And then we have the tiny head, which is one of the biggest culprits for the stereotype of the stupid dinosaur. And while ordinarily the plates and spikes would overwhelm, Jorge Blanco's render makes it a mini work of art in itself. Now at this size and level of professionalism, you get a lot more detail than you can have in a smaller model. The tiny proportion in relation to the body is really brought home. 
But when you look at it, you can actually get lost in the detail. Now look at the sculpted relief of the, uh, the orbital ring. The snout. The beginnings of the dermal plates. And the throat armor ossicles. Now all this is complemented by an equally worthy paint application, which really brings out the head and shows it off to the max. Now I'm not one for busks, and the head isn't the focus when it comes to stegosaurus the way it might be, say, for a ceratopsian, but I would really be happy to have a bust of just this. As for the body, it has the traditional pre-Sophie form here which incidentally for many people isn't the final word on Stegosaurus form. And although Dr. Maitman has told me she believes the full adult would be quite close, she also said that further growth with concomitant elementary changes might be possible as well. This Stegosaurus is one of the repaints Sideshow released along with various dinosauria offerings, and one of the few I actually preferred to the original. It's not in the traditional green, but there's a, there's a fair hint of it, uh, with these pleasingly rendered stripes, serving perhaps as camouflage to break up the true form of the animal, which I think lends a lot more visual interest than the original. The skin texture is also realistic, and while certainly adding much detail, it doesn't do so at the expense of realism with overzealous sizing and texturing. As we saw in the Triceratops, the musculature is rendered with what I feel is an appropriate bulk. I find too many depictions of dinosaurs a little too slender, and I appreciate when careful thought has been given to plausible anatomy. And so, getting muscles that actually look like they could drive, accelerate, or brace the animal. You've seen this in the muscle bulk at the base of the tail, driving the tagmizer into whichever poor fool decides to make a go at it. The ability to rear is also something speculated about in stegosaurs, and these powerful thigh and leg muscles certainly look capable of supporting this pose. It looks exactly as you'd expect of an animal on high alert, perhaps after hearing or smelling something suspicious, ready to get into action in response to any potential threat. And similar to the Triceratops, Sideshow has taken the creative license of adding armor to the forelimbs and the triceps. And I really appreciate a statue that takes into account the latest science of its time and then add on some speculative but sensible extras. Now, the baby. I'm happy to say that unlike the Sideshow Triceratops baby, this baby is more beautifully painted. It's got a baby proportions you'd expect, but the paint job is not given short shrift, making it look like an afterthought. The detail is marvellous. The forearm and tricep scutes, the throat armour, The plates, and the spikes. The paint application is very good. Now look at the fade in the body. And then the markings blended into it. And 
even the beak has a nice fade to it. As you'd expect in a younger animal, the keratinous bits are smoother. See the tail spikes here? And these mini plates. I like that they've gone with a different coloration for the baby, which is common enough in real animals. And interestingly, while the rebore seems to have taken inspiration in the adult, in the plates, the PNSO seems to have been inspired by the baby. Size-wise, it's actually quite big. Now compare this to the wild safari stegosaurus. And proportionately, he's even bigger than the rebore adult. I really wish the peg was in the base so I could pose him separately, though I do understand that having a hole in the statue might weaken the structure. Finally, just a quick look at the base. It's still quite plain, but has much better colour than the Triceratops one. And unlike the poverty of detail on that one, this has some vegetation that the baby's feeding on. So while not fantastic, it's not uninteresting. So here's everything put together, and wow! Now I'm a fan of family scenes, and this is a rare piece that really pays tribute to that. I'll go so far as to say that despite my love of the Carnotaurus and the iconic scene in the T-Rex vs Triceratops diorama, if you can get only one side show, this might be the one. In terms of detail, paint application, realism on the diorama, and just sheer impressiveness, it really has everything you could want in a high quality statue. And every time I look at it, I'm awed by it. And uh, in a moment of self-aggrandizement, <laughs> I fantasize it's made me into a uh, somewhat of an art collector. So that's it. Now, I'm surprised I survived this review. Man, this thing is heavy. Uh, it's lighter than the Triceratops, but just more unwieldy to handle. And I was so afraid I'd drop it. But I hope this revisit has given you a better look at this masterpiece. And I'm happy that even if Sideshow never releases another statue in the Dinosauria line, it will give you an appreciation for what they were and could have continued to be.